Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to share with you a technique for inserting a feature into a content center part family after you've already published it. So in this example that a customer brought up, they had a plate with a hub, but they either forgot or their shop wanted to add a hole after the fact. So because we didn't publish it that way originally, that whole information is not in the family table. So this becomes a little bit more work, but definitely doable to add that information in. Now, before we get started, I want to reiterate something that I've said over and over again over the years, is in order to get the content center to work the best, in my opinion, you should create an IPART table first and make sure that that entire first row has all of the properties that you anticipate needing in the design so that it's much easier to manipulate later. But sometimes things happen and that's what we're gonna cover today. How do we add that after the fact? So you can see in here, here's the copy of the table in the family editor and it's got the original published but there's nothing to do with a whole. So we can't really add the hole in the table. We'll have to do it by editing the family template. So to do that, I'm gonna come over to this assembly. I'm gonna place a copy of this from the content center and I'll just grab the first row. We're gonna make sure it's custom so that we can make changes to it. And then I'm gonna save it. I've already kind of pre-done this in the location I want. So of course, store it wherever you need. And I'm just gonna throw the custom at the end of it. All right. So we'll lock this down in place, and then I'm gonna open this file up. So when I open up the file, of course it doesn't have the hole, so I'm gonna choose the hole command. And of course I cheated a little bit because it's already pre-populated the hole information I want, which is just a quarter 20, drilled through all with full threading, so I hit okay. Here's the first trick. And uh, I actually discovered this on a Kativ blog because I've done this a lot with I properties, I just hadn't tried it with the parameter before, but because the whole table doesn't have access, or I'm sorry, the content center table doesn't have access to the whole feature, there's no, I can't pull like the designation from it. So the trick is to create a parameter, and this is gonna be a text-based parameter, and I'm gonna call it thread, oops, designation, all right? And I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use it <laughs> a few times. And just to kind of highlight this, you have to make sure that you use exactly the format that the inventor whole table would use for designation. So if you're not sure what those are, you can go into the thread.xls spreadsheet within your design data and you can see all of that information. So I'm not going to probably need this here, but I just wanted to show you that format and you'll see it again in a minute. So I hit done and I hit save. And now we want to get this file as the new family template. So we'll go up to the manage tab, to our content center editor. Make sure that you're using your custom library. I'm just using the out of the box my library for this. Right click on the family and then you can replace the family template. So I'm going to find that testing part that I was using before hit open, and it shouldn't take very long. It's a pretty simple part, and we've now replaced it. So the underlying template for this design is that custom part that we just placed. So to complete it, we have to actually add a value into our table. So I'm gonna choose this add column. So you could key this in, but I, you know, I wanted to save a little bit of time. I'm just going to paste that thread designation name. <clears throat> this also is nice because it keeps it consistent with the parameter name. Make sure that the data type is the same and you hit OK. So from here, it's just populating what we want to use. So I'll go as quick as I can. And I don't remember all of these uh, sizes, so <laughs> this is why. Um, <clears throat> having access to that thread table can be really helpful. So anyway, really quickly, I just put a few examples in there. Go ahead and hit okay. Now the next part is we have to tie that parameter 
to the template feature. So we can do that through the family properties, <clears throat> find our parameter mapping, find the template parameters, and there you can see our thread designation. And we're gonna map this to the thread features for that hole we just placed. So I'll pick on designation, and now our parameter will be driving the designation for that hole. That's why it's really important to make sure you key in the values exactly like you would in the thread table. And this is just a quick bonus thing. Because we updated the, the shape, you may also want to update your thumbnail. I'm not going to do that, but that would probably be helpful. Otherwise, people say, hey, I'm, I'm picking the right one. It doesn't have a hole in it. <laughs> but at the same time, I'll just hit OK. So now it should be completely updated. We hit Done. And now in the assembly, let's test it out. So I'll place some examples from that new table. Now we could have also changed and made that threading a key parameter. That's okay. We'll just kind of roll with this for now. I hit okay. It's gonna generate that part. Place another copy. And here's a tip. If you want, you can click on that member, hit apply. And then as we place additional copies and then right click hit OK, it brings us right back to that table and we can just choose the next one. So I'll just plop one more in. And what you can see is that it placed these parts, they now have holes in them. And if you switch to the modeling tab of your browser, if you've engaged the show extended names, you can now expand each of these and you'll see that each one of those holes is a quarter 20, quarter 28, and a 316. So that's how you can come back after the fact, add a feature, and by building your own custom parameters and entering those into the table, you can link them back to the features in the part template. So hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a blessed day.